happens. So who is your biggest competitor? Who is your biggest competitor? So when I ask that question, many of you start thinking about other ISOs, other processing companies, right? You're thinking about maybe even Square, or if you're selling card not present, you're thinking Stripe. But for those of you that are selling cash discounting, Square, even though it's available, they haven't really gone uh, full tilt with that. They're not promoting it. And so you may not even think Square. You know, you're thinking of these other large ISOs. You're thinking of other sales agents in your local community. But that's actually not your biggest competitor. Square is not your biggest competitor. Let me explain to all of you who is going to steal all of your accounts slowly and painfully over the next three to five years if you don't do something about it, okay? The one who's gonna steal it all is the ISB, okay? ISB stands for Independent Software Vendor. So the ISB is the software company. Why is the ISV such a big threat? You know, you say, well, James, wh which ISV are you talking about? I'm talking about all of them. I'm talking about the thousands of software companies that are already in existence and those that are going to be created that are targeting little niches, okay? There are so many software companies that target, you know, beauty and hair salons, all right? There are so many software companies now that are targeting pizza shops, that are targeting just auto repair. All they deal with is auto repair, right? They help auto repair shops manage their business better. That's all they do. Now, why is this such a big threat? Because two things are happening as I'm seeing the market unfold. I do consulting for a lot of ISVs that have payment integrations, so I'm very familiar with that side of the business. And I'm noticing a couple of things with these ISVs, okay? Number one, they are very rapidly realizing how profitable cash discounting is. And they're figuring out how they can implement this in a way that allows them to just give their equipment away for free. How can they just not even charge any software fees? Like they want to just wipe all of that out and they just want to do cash discounting. And like they're realizing, wait a second, there's so much profit here with cash discounting. We can leverage that profit to do some insane marketing things. They're not playing by your rules. They're not playing by my rules. They're not playing by our industry's rules. They are playing by their own rules, okay? And they are very profitable because of cash discounting. And as they start to implement that more and more, they're generating a lot of profit, a lot of income, okay? That's number one. So if you're selling cash discounting and you're sitting back and you're feeling pretty good about it, hey, you know, I'm selling these, you know, standalone terminals. And, you know, even though these companies may want to go to these other software vendors, they're not doing cash discounting yet. So I'm safe. You're probably only going to be safe for six to 18 months. I don't care what vertical it is. I promise you 18 months from today. Listen to this. If you get nothing else out of this event, get this. Okay. I promise you that 18 months from right now, there will be a dominant leading software provider that is promoting cash discounting to every vertical that you could think of. 18 months from now, guarantee it. I don't care what it is you're, that you're going after, they are going to have this, okay? That vertical that you're going after, that attorney's office, okay? That veterinarian shop, that hobby store, I don't care what it is, there is going to be a software company with integrated payments that will steal your merchant account that is gonna be promoting cash discounting in 18 months to that vertical. Okay, hyper targeted software. This is your biggest threat. All right. And let me say the second reason this is a problem for you and such a big threat is that ISVs are very good at marketing. This is what they're good at online marketing, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, retargeting ads, Google AdWords, um, you know, uh, LinkedIn ads, YouTube pre roll ads. This is what they're good at doing. And they're leveraging data and they're finding ways to target. And so the scary thing is this, not only is there going to be a software company with integrated payments where you have to process with them if you're going to use their software, not only is there going to be one for every vertical that you're going after that's going to be promoting cash discounting and this idea of get all of the great features of our software and eliminate your payment processing, not only is that going to be a reality, but all of your merchants are going to be seeing 
advertisements, video ads, image ads, content, podcast episodes about that software. Okay. So when you understand that context and all of a sudden, I'm hoping that you're starting to maybe not feel quite so safe with your cash discount portfolio, which for many of you is massively profitable. And I congratulate you on your success, but how long is that portfolio going to last for you if you've got all these software companies out there that are competing directly with you? Okay. So what do we do about this? Well, step number one here, I don't believe it's a great idea to start selling something that you don't understand, right? So you're thinking, James, this is terrible. All these ISVs are coming after me. What am I going to do? Uh, maybe I should just start selling full feature point of sale systems that I don't understand. And I should try to figure out how to just change who I am. Um, you know, I got to tell you, I know thousands of agents in this industry. And the truth is that most of the good ones are unfortunately hunters and not farmers. What that means is they're very good at going out and making that quick transactional sale, but they're not super good at, you know, building value into the sale initially or over the long haul. That's just not their strength. That's not what they're great at, right? So that's a problem. Like this is not the right approach for many of you. Some of you, I, I have a whole video course. In fact, I did a live event with Zuza uh, a few months back on how to sell software. And we talked about exactly how to approach it in this way. But the truth is many of you that are selling cash discounting, you understand that's not for you. you. You can't do that. That's just, that's not who you are. You want to get out there and beat the pavement. You want to have appointment schedulers on the phone. You want to do whatever your marketing is, your prospecting methodology, and you just want to sell cash discounting. You want to give away that terminal or sell it on a lease or whatever you're doing. It's working for you. You feel like it can continue to work for you. And you're right. It can continue to work for you, but you need to do just a little tiny bit more. Okay. Just a little tiny bit more. So rather than selling something you don't understand, my advice today, and the reason I've asked Zuza to join me for this event, is that I believe that you should be selling a smart device with software, okay? Keep hunting, but plant some seeds for the future. You're a hunter. That's great. You know how to sell 15, 20 merchant accounts a month, maybe only five or 10, whatever it is, right? Your skill is in going out and hunting or getting referrals, building that referral network, making those bank relationships, whatever it is. You're like, hey, I got this. I can sell merchant accounts. I can sell them individual terminals. Fantastic. But understand those merchants are going to be hearing from powerful software company competitors that are hyper-targeted to their vertical that have specific value propositions just for them. So what do you do? Well, good, keep selling those standalone terminals, but they need to be smart terminals. They need to be smart terminals that have software on them that's going to allow that merchant to evolve over time. And you need to partner with an ISV, okay? If you can't beat them, join them. All right, listen to me. I'm, I'm telling you, please listen. None of you are going to beat all the ISVs out there with your, you know, with your Verifone terminal. I'm sorry, you're going to lose. You cannot win against them, all right? It's not going to happen. I'm sorry, but like, I don't think you realize like the, the benefits, like when these companies see, oh, wow, they see an ad on Facebook every day for a month for a software that is literally built exactly for their business. And it's like, well, but I don't want to give up this terminal I have here because I'm not paying any processing fees. And then they see the ad and it says no processing fees, cash discounting, whatever. When they realize they can have everything that they want and not pay anything for it, they're going to switch unless you strike first. How do you strike first? through an ISV, but you've got to find an ISV that is built for and believes in and doesn't compete with ISOs, okay? And those are very hard to find. One of them and one of my personal favorites is Zuza. So I'm going to introduce Danny McHale, founded Zuza, built Zuza over the last few years, and he's going to continue this conversation and talk a little bit about what they're doing. So hear him out. Whether you work with Zuza or not, I'm hoping that you'll come away from this event with some really good insights into, okay, now I understand a concept of how I can pitch cash discounting, set up that standalone terminal, but I can work with an ISV that's going to provide the features and benefits that these uh, business owners are going to want over the next 18 to 24 months, and they're going to help to farm and grow the relationship to retain my residuals that I worked 
so hard to keep. So uh, let me uh, introduce Danny here without further ado. Let's see here. Danny, it's all you, sir. James, thank you. Thank you for the introduction and, and very powerful words. Uh, I'll piggyback off what you said, and, and I absolutely agree with uh, basically everything you said, quite honestly. We're seeing that already happening with a lot of the software companies that are realizing the kind of revenue and values there are in uh, cash discounting uh, programs. So luckily, you know, luckily for a lot of our partners, um, currently we have over 200 ISOs nationwide, ISOs, banks of ours, and a couple thousand agents that are uh, selling the Zusa product. For those of you guys that don't know much about Zusa, I'll give you a quick 60 second elevator pitch, but Zusa is a true omni-channel solution. Uh, I myself used to own a super ISO uh, back in the days before we got acquired by a private equity group. Uh, and, and my passion was for the agents, the ISOs, the banks that I felt were going to be at a complete disadvantage. You know, you fast forward five, six years later, uh, and, and that's the position we're in today, right? Is you've got a lot of the ISVs coming into the space, starting to gobble up a lot of the revenues and profits. Um, so we built Zusa as a true omni-channel solution for the agents and ISOs. That, that was really our mindset. We don't compete with our partners. We're processor agnostic, so you can board the account anywhere you wish. Um, and, and we will provide you the software you need to succeed. So everything from online ordering to online calendars, e-commerce, POS systems, terminals, you name it, we do it. But for today's call, I think the purpose and focal point is to focus on payment terminals. I agree with James that if you're gonna sell a terminal, at least sell a smart terminal. Because at some point, that merchant's gonna go outgrow that solution. So if you're selling a basic Verifone or just a simple terminal uh, that does maybe just order taking some reports, et cetera, et cetera, at some point they're gonna outgrow it. Where with the Zusa ecosystem, the way we've designed it uh, for all of our partners on this call is, you start them off on a simple terminal, right? We call it the, the, the Zusa Lite product or the Zusa Smart product. It's a smart terminal. Uh, they have the same dashboard, ladies and gentlemen, to operate all their payment devices, all their online tools, as well as um, their POS system. So they're not logging into multiple dashboards. They have the same dashboard. So, so for our merchants that you board on board, you know, that you onboard with Zusa, if all they need is a simple smart terminal. Great, they could do cash discounting, they could do order taking, they get reports, um, inventory, uh, you know, split tickets, et cetera, et cetera. It has a lot of, quite a bit of features built into it, but the beauty of it is, which it's happening right now, I think so far just this quarter alone, we've had 200 merchants call in and say, uh, hey Zusa, we need gift cards. I know we didn't need gift cards six months ago when we signed up with our sales agent, but the holidays are around the corner, we need gift cards. The beauty of it is with Zusa, you don't have to move them to a whole nother system. If they need invoicing, gift cards, loyalty, time and attendance, you don't have to say, well, let me find you another software. With Zusa, you simply just turn on the toggle and you rock and roll from there and we can activate it for them, right? Free of charge. So that's the beauty of having a full ecosystem. Now, what does that do for you? If I'm a sales agent and I board a merchant on a terminal, at some point, they're gonna look to get upgraded. I mean, let's just be honest, that's usually what happens. That's why the average life cycle of a merchant in the payment space is less than three years. Uh, where with Zusa, we're averaging close to seven years on the average life cycle, so, so more than double. And, and if I'm an agent or, or an ISO and I board a merchant on a terminal, I wanna be able to sleep well at night, not worry about, well, eventually they're gonna need X, Y, and Z. With us, it's already there. So when they're ready to upgrade, we literally just ship them out the POS system or we ship them out the tools to process online. So stop boarding merchants on terminals for six, 12, 18 months uh, and start boarding them on something where you're planning on keeping them on a software for five, six, seven, eight years. And that's really the beauty of Zusa. We actually have proven to our partners that we make them money, right? It shouldn't be, I think the business philosophy for Zusa is we wanna help make you money it shouldn't be you helping us make money, right? So we actually work for you. That's our business philosophy at Zusa is how do we help you guys increase your revenue, protect your residual, right? Kind of like that walled uh, fortress approach. We want to make it as sticky as possible for you. Um, and, and more importantly, we want to keep the merchant happy. How do we keep the merchant happy for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years? And 
And that's what we do. So Zusa, we're a true omni-channel solution that scales with you and scales with your merchant. It's that simple. So uh, without further ado, I'd actually like to hand the mic over to Peter uh, so he can walk you through um, what our mobile solution looks like today on today's call. That's primarily what we're gonna be concentrating on. Um, and, and we'll go from there. Peter? Peter, we can't hear you, sir. Oh, sorry. There, you, there he is. Gotcha. We hear you now. Uh, Peter, you got muted one more time there. Unmute it one more time. Sorry about that, everybody. We're having a little bit of uh, technical issues. Let's go to webinar lately. It seems like it always wants to mute itself here. So there you go, Peter. You're good. There we go. Yes. And I can see my screen as well. Thank you for the introduction. Thank you for the introduction, Danny. And uh, what I'm showing right now is. Uh, the mobile version this is the same app software that's going to go on any of the smart terminals that we were discussing earlier uh, and the smart terminals that we work with i'm going to go over those and after i show the software and there's packs devices that we work with that you could uh you know i'll show in a few minutes now this is the home screen on the mobile app and it has all the features that uh, you want to have in the software Taking orders, taking payments, managing tickets, um, everything that Danny discussed for uh, like the gift cards, I'm going to show all of them uh, one by one. But most importantly, you could apply the cash discounting on it as well. I'm going to do a scenario of taking an order at a table. You can we tap on the orders, and then on this screen with the plus icon on the right corner, gives you the opportunity to. Um, Select an item. And now this is one category that you see all the items under that one category. If I tap on the category, it gives me the list of all the categories. If you see over here, we have the wine, furniture, all types of industries that we work with. And in the bottom category, you could actually sell gift cards uh, from here as well if needed. Now I want to select an item. You tell an item, now it gives you the modifiers. For the modifiers, you can add as many you want, and each modifier can have its own groups of items. We want to select the size. It's, it's on default for medium. You can select any size you want. So the cheese. Thank you. And while you're selecting um, the modifiers, it gives you the configuration. If you want to configure your uh, modifier with any type of like right side, left side, on the side, it gives you that option on the mobile app as well. Yeah, let me chime in too, Peter, while you're walking through the order. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as you're watching Peter do this, keep in mind, this is a standalone device. So if they want it on a PAX A920, A920 Pro, PAX A77, A60, we work on all of them, okay? Um, and if they just want a simple standalone terminal, nothing else, great. Um, a lot of our merchants will have a couple POS stations, and then they'll have four or five of these devices to do order at the table or order on the patio. Uh, the list goes on and on, right? So it's, it's really up to the merchant. It's up to you, however you want to sell the mobile device. It can be part of the entire ecosystem, or it could be its own little uh, island, which, which oftentimes we see people start with their own little island uh, and then uh, upgrade and say, hey, you know what, we like this, we wanna add a couple POS systems, we wanna do this and that, so, um, but yeah, or it could just work on the phone. So just keep in mind, we have both the options for you on the mobile devices. Thank you, Dan. Now, once you place the order, add the item, so there, there's a, on the order screen, it gives you the option. If you want to add discounts, you could do discounts. Um, if you want to add notes, you could add notes by tapping on each one of them. And once you place in, finish your order, then you tap on the pay button. This is where you could see the cash discounting. Tap on credit. It's going to give you 
all the information from the amount. You could add tips if you want to. This is where it says non-cash adjustment applies the uh, non-cash uh, adjustment fee, which is 3.99%. Now, if this is a terminal like the A920, let's say, all you have to do is press on continue. You could tap the card, insert the card. You could pay contactless uh, via Apple Pay, uh, Google Pay. So um, with all those terminals, smart terminals, you are, you are able to take things like that. If you want to take cash, Hey, one of the things too, all that's pulling up, Danny, just to clarify, I mean, for some of these agents that don't even set their merchants up with inventory management, you know what I mean? They're just doing a regular terminal. I mean, it's, you know, really, it's like, this is pretty much a, an equivalent to something like a square as far as simplicity, right? I mean, it's like, they wouldn't even have to do that if they wanted to, they could just ring up an order. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, and I'm glad you brought up inventory. So A, we could have a customer up and running in literally 10 seconds, guys. We can create a cash item button and they could be up and running in, in three seconds. Like it's that quick. So no inventory, no setup, no anything. It's, it's, it could be that fast. Now, uh, if they do want to take it to the next level and say, hey, you know what? I do want to start tracking inventory as well as customers, as well as coupons, as well as frequent visits and all that. Uh, keep in mind, we are a single platform. So what does that mean to you? Whether I'm buying stuff online, at the brick and mortar, at the POS system, or on the road, right? It subtracts all from the same centralized inventory database. It also applies points to the customers. Doesn't matter if the customer buys online, at the store, or on the go. Um, uh, same rules apply for cash discounting. When you activate it, or, or surcharging, it applies online, POS, or mobile. So it could start off as a very simple, I wanna sell a pen for a dollar, boom, you're up and running in, in a matter of three or four seconds. Uh, or you could then flush it out to make it as large as you want it to be. But again, the beauty of it for the agent and the ISO is you don't have to worry about them going elsewhere for additional features. We're releasing 10, 15, 20 new features a month on our platforms. So yeah, thank you, James. Great, great feedback. Uh, Peter, go ahead. Did you want to finish up on the... Uh, Yes, and with the map as well, you hey, Peter, you're breaking up a little bit, Peter. Just heads uh, up. Second, uh, receive yes. Hey, Peter, you're breaking up. So if you just want to walk them through the app, I'll finish doing the talk until you get your internet squared away. So, so take them back to uh, the order screen for me, Peter, on the mobile okay. app, please. And Peter was just going to show you guys, we have text and email receipts available uh, on, on the mobile device. Yeah, great way to collect data from the customers too. That's yeah. just, that goes in so big now. A lot, of, a lot of merchants today, that is one of the main things they want because they want to get that data that they can use for marketing down the road as well. Exactly. And that's what we do. Uh, that's what we do. So even if they want, like we track everything from uh, frequent visits to top spenders to who hasn't been there in a long time. And we actually, even through this mobile app, believe it or not, we have what's called automated marketing. So, so let's just say you have a merchant that just wants a simple payment device like we've been talking about with cash discounting. Great, we've got you covered. But if they then down the road want to start to take advantage of the marketing solutions, we can tell you who your top customers were, who hasn't been there in six months, who needs uh, a reminder to come back in. I mean, the list goes on and on. So it's it's all part of, the entire, again, ecosystem that we mentioned, James. So that's how we do gather all their information is whether they buy online or if they buy uh, at the store or mobile. We collect all that data, we, we harbor it for the merchant, and then we let them track it and, and then remarket back to their customers. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. Um, so, so this is just our, and that's our standard mobile app. Again, one more thing I wanna highlight is Peter, if you hit the little menu option down at the bottom right-hand corner. You know, down here, guys, I want to show you a couple things. You have the ability to save a ticket. And by saving a ticket, it's that first tab. It also allows you to um, create an invoice. You've got, you know, so, so you could save a ticket. You could split tickets. You could add coupons. 
Um, so quite honestly, even our smart terminal, which is pretty inexpensive and, and very easy to use, we could have a merchant up and running and I'm not kidding you, three to eight seconds. I mean, it's that fast. Um, but just we need a name, address, phone number. We could have the software set up. Um, but it, it comes loaded with quite a bit of tools. I mean, we've put it toe to toe, James, with a lot of the leading competitors out there. And, and nine out of 10 times, it actually, we have quite a bit of features. Um, but we have a lot more advantage to our product line than a lot of the competitors out there. So, uh, and the fact that, it, again, it's a branch of the tree. Uh, helps a lot. So, uh, but yeah, that's our mobile solution. <clears throat> Comes fully loaded, no extra charge with cash discounting and surcharging. So, um, this is ready to be used today with the partners on this call. <clears throat> so, uh, Peter, if you want to quickly walk us through, uh, I, I see you have the online open. I just want to highlight one thing on the online. Uh, and I want to share on the uh, about the printers too on the mobile device. So click on the online tab on the upper left hand corner, please. So ladies and gentlemen, just real quick, this is our online tool. I'm only showing this to you for one sec. Uh, we wanted to highlight the fact that if they order here and if the merchant has printer stations set up for uh, the business, so like let's just say the pizza prints by the pizza section, salad by the salad uh, and and whatever alcohol by the bar that same printer grouping applies also to the mobile devices so when they do want to add online ordering they don't have to add any new products and they don't have to make any adjustments to their hardware and printing okay uh again I, we just want to show you this because the simplicity to go from a simple smart terminal to then needing online it's literally a matter of a couple clicks for the zoos end right uh, and James, imagine pre-COVID, how many merchants had a simple terminal and how many people on this call lost business because the merchant needed to upgrade to a better software and they had to scramble to find online. With us, it was two or three clicks and we got the merchant up and running. No, no added inventory, no added products, no added anything. Um, it was that simple. So we just want to share that with you guys as well. And uh, we'll pause here for a minute, see if it, we've got any questions. Uh, yeah, so let's see here. I was actually just looking through them, Danny. Um, <clears throat> so they were asking about, so just to clarify this, so there a couple of people were asking about kind of the inexpensive version of, you know, terminal and stuff. But the idea here is the agents would still, I, I think, if I'm understanding correctly, would still get their terminal um, from, you know, their ISO or their current equipment provider. But this just gives them the option to use a, a variety of different like PAX devices and things like that, right? Exactly. So the same software, and I'll have Peter pull it back up here on the, in the screen in a minute. But the same software, the mobile app that you guys saw, works on mobile devices and on PAX devices. So, so whatever you need, uh, and that's on all the PAX devices, quite honestly. I don't think there's one we don't work with. So the A920, A920 Pro, A77, A60, those are our most common uh, ones that we sell. But, but there's quite a bit of others too uh, that we work with. Or if they wanna just use their smartphone. I mean, I'll tell you the truth, we yeah. have, uh, quite a bit of like, I would say the, you know, we do pretty darn well in the auto industry, construction industry, trade services, B2B. Uh, a lot of those guys actually just like to use their phones. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's, I would say, you know, so the, and that's what we demo today was just our phone, but it looks that the UI UX is the exact same that we showed you today that would appear on these. Now I like these better than the phone because you don't need a separate terminal with it. You know what I mean? Right. Um, so right. Me personally, I would probably buy the A77 or the A920 Pro uh, for my merchants because, again, they've got a little bit of a faster processor. They've got the built-in EMV NFC. So, right. but the A77, I think we had one partner just buy 250 of them yesterday because all he does, uh, he uses Zusa and he goes after and he does cash discounting, but for the auto contractor construction industry. So sure. he's literally giving out an A77 to any merchant that signs up, sometimes two or three, because you know some of these contractors, yeah. plumbers, et cetera, et cetera, the volume they're doing, but he just placed an order yesterday for 250. Yeah, so a couple of other really interesting questions here, actually. So Jan is asking about you know this idea that, okay, like Zusa is an app in the pack store, mm -hmm. right? 
And so the idea would be, of course, you would still need to have a relationship. Either you or your ISO would need to have a, a relationship with Zusa. I'm assuming, Danny, you can correct me if I'm wrong here, in order to get some kind of credentials that they would need in order to set the merchant up. So they would download this app, and then I'm assuming they would get some credentials from you guys or whatever to do that. Can you walk them through a little bit of like, how does that work as far as onboarding? Yeah, it's pretty simple. So, so on our end, we get the merchant application in. We then start building out the software for the merchant, okay? Um, and like I said, oftentimes that's just creating one button. Like they just need a, right. it's called a sale. Okay. So it takes us, uh, three, four, five seconds and we're good to go. Um, we need the serial numbers on the PAX device. We register it. They download the app and they're good to go. Peter, did I miss any of the steps on getting the PAX devices set up? No, that's, uh, what you said, the steps are just pushing that up on the pack store and downloading the app. If they're familiar already pushing uh, terminals on the pack store, it's the same way, the only thing they need to do is push the Zuz app when it comes to that point. Exactly. Uh, another yeah, if good... they know, and James, if they don't know how to do it, we'll do it. It, it, it makes no difference to us. Sure. A um, couple of the really good questions. Uh, Jan, I'll get to hers too. So she also just asking, can we get set up ourselves? Meaning she's an individual agent. Her ISO maybe doesn't offer Zusa. Can you talk a little bit about the difference between if you're an ISO that's looking to work with Zusa versus an individual agent? So, yeah, I mean, Zusa made industry noise back in 2013 when we were the first white label solution for a tablet based product. So uh, we offer three packages today. You could A, just be an agent referral program, right? So if you just want to, literally, if you have a merchant tomorrow, you want to sign up on the Zusa product, we could have you up and running by tomorrow. It's that easy. Um, the bulk of our business comes from our ISO channels because we, we, we work with, I would say, three or four of the top 15 ISOs in the space, and that's uh, quickly growing. Uh, and, and a lot of them come to us because they even want a white label. So everything we showed you guys, we, we actually can rebrand it and we can generate five apps. We can give you your own Android and Apple app, which by the way, ladies and gentlemen, we're Android and Apple. Um, so we give you your own Android and Apple apps for tablets and POS systems, smartphones, and we can even upload you into the Pack Store. We've got a couple hundred apps in the Pack Store today, James, um, yep. and, and quickly growing. Now that's if they want a white logo. If they just want to sell the Zusa product, wonderful. Uh, we're, we're open to either. So. Uh, right. We've got three packages. We've got the agent program, the ISO program, and the ISO white label program. Right. Okay, cool. Um, this is a, a good question to answer here um, because I think it, it allows us to zoom out and talk a little bit more about this. So um, what POS systems do you integrate with for online ordering? So obviously you don't because it's all one system. Can you just clarify a little bit more in simple terms for those in the audience that maybe aren't as familiar with this concept of how does this online ordering work with your merchants that maybe have your point of sale or have your standalone terminal? So in 2014, I made the comment at a conference I was speaking at. I think I, I offended some people, but I basically said the model, James, that Clover was doing is a horrible model. Okay, We don't believe in if a merchant needs a solution, you should go download a third-party app. So Zuz's entire code base is a closed-loop system. We own our own online ordering. We own our own POS technology. We own our own gift card. By the way, our gift card programs are free. Why? Because we own them. Loyalty, free. Calendar and appointments for salon, gyms, fitness, free. Um, it, estimates and invoicing for contractors, plumbers, uh, collision shops, free. Um, so, so really, we are becoming a, the, the industry leader uh, because our online portal, it's ours. Uh, we're building a product that's competing with Shopify and, and, and WooCommerce and, and, and those individuals out there, as well as a great online ordering tools, as well as online booking for appointments and oil changes and uh, mechanics. So uh, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we don't integrate with any POS system because it goes against our business philosophy. So it's it's the Zusa online platform, it's a Zusa POS, and it's a Zusa smart terminals. Uh, everything is Zusa, 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 uh, and and that's right. and that's our business model. Not knocking the guys out there doing it a little bit differently. I think there's a lot of good. I, I do think there's some good product, some good you know other good products out there. Um, I just think ours is unique, and and not many people are doing it the way we do it. Sure. Yeah. So I, I think to to clarify, it's. You know, you're, you're putting that stand, let's say you're selling cash discounting, you're putting that standalone terminal in, and then, you know, your merchant reaches out and says, hey, I'm trying to find the right online ordering solution. And it's like, well, you already have it. 
So right. we're going to we're going to go into your dashboard, we're going to toggle a switch that says online ordering, going to set up a few things and you're you're golden. I just got a gift card from an agent. This is a true story. I'll actually I'll send you a picture of it James after the call. It's somewhere around here. Yeah. Uh, he said his merchant because remember we have one dashboard. So he would log in every day just to check his reports and blah 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 on his smart terminals. Well, this guy does a lot of revenue. So this agent makes yeah, this is one of his bigger accounts, okay? It's in the auto industry. And and he says, normally a customer like this would just switch to another solution. But he called me, he says, hey, listen, um, I've been logging into this dashboard, the Zusa dashboard for the last year, and I've never played with any of this stuff, but, but I'm at the size now I need gift cards, I need estimates and invoicing, and I need a uh, calendar, okay? So he says, I was gonna switch, but I see I've already got it all. Because remember, even if they're just using the smart terminal and it's not activated for them, James, it's still on their dashboard. They still see right. those tabs, right? Right. So uh, agent calls us, says, guys, this guy has been looking at it for the last year. Thank God he didn't shop me around. I this would be a major blow to me. Um, I need you guys to give him a call and get these turned on. We call the customer. We said, listen, we're going to turn all these on for you. No added charge. And here's how it works. He sent him about three or four other merchants. Agent sent us a... Uh, uh, a very nice, generous gift card, actually. Probably, I think the largest gift card we've ever received in Zusa history. So it was, it, was an, it was a nice gift card. So the point we're making is um, we, we help make your merchants stick around longer, right? Because the tools they need are right at their fingertips, which is why if you're going to sell a terminal, for the love of God, sell a terminal that can be upgraded without them having to spend any additional money and time and resources. That's That's what we've really built for you. Love it. Okay. So we'll do a couple other questions. And by the way, if you have more questions, we're getting a lot of them. Um, we'll try to get through as many as we can here. Just type them out in the question box. And then I do want to pause for one second here. Just clarify too. If you go to ccsalespro.com slash Zusa ebook. So if you go to ccsalespro.com slash Zusa, that'll take you to a form you can fill out and the Zusa team will follow up with you. But we also, Danny and I work together on an ebook on how to sell software. And so we get into a lot more detail about a lot of other features. We did a whole event about that. Today was really about, hey, you're selling a standalone terminal cash discounting. Don't do that. Sell this one so that you have uh, the ability to upgrade. So a couple of the other questions. Um, what about demos, Danny? Does does a, a reseller have the ability to like bring up a, a PAX with them that's like a demo device to show people? Or how do, how do you recommend that they do demos? You know, have them, have them reach out to us, usually for the agent program. Um, we don't really do demos on the agents or we don't give out demos. We do demos for them. Right. So like I said, we've got three tiers. Uh, a lot of people will start you off just on the agent program. You have to have done a few deals for us to get you into this next level. And on the next level, we do give them their live demo in the beginning because we want to handhold a little bit more. Um, you know, we want to make sure they understand how to sell software. It's a little bit different. Right. So um, in the beginning, we will do the demos for them, James, if they've got a live merchant. And, and they want us to walk them through it, we will do the demo for them. And I'm assuming if they want to, you know, let's say they're just selling pretty simple, you know, cash discounting or whatever, if they want to buy their own terminal and yeah. have the app on there, I mean, it's, you know, nothing stopping them from going in there and doing that. Yeah. So no, no, no. We'll actually even give them an app on their phone. Yeah. Well, that's true. You can do it on the phone or tablet or whatever. So yeah, I mean, um, listen, it's the same device. It, it works the same way on my iPhone as it does on a PAX. So if they want to save the 300 bucks and just have it on their phone, God bless him. Yep. Okay. Um, next question. There's a little bit of a controversial topic, actually, and I, I think I know the answer to this with you guys, but with cash discounting, does it have the ability to do both the percentage and the the flat fee? Like there's still a few ISOs that do on the smaller ticket ones, they do a 49 cent non-cash adjustment. I, do you guys do that? Yes, we do, do have really? it, actually. Oh, yeah. I didn't think you did. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, no, awesome. we have the ability. If they want to do a flat two dollars fifty cents okay on everything or if they want to do a percentage uh, right. or if they want to do a dollar amount you know we have all we, we've added a bunch okay. of new features to cool. the cash I didn't know you had that. that's awesome okay cool yeah, yeah I, lo I love we, that for the, the coffee we, shops, the we even have it if it's below a certain amount like we get gas stations still that say hey listen under five bucks i want a 50 cent fee we can do that right. as well great okay cool yeah. um Brad says, so they are absolutely a one-stop shop. Yes, you're correct, Brad. <laughs> Not really a question, but we'll take that. So that's that's a good explanation there. Um, Brad, that's music to my ears. That you that that was that was the design behind Zusa. I used to be in your position. Um, I used to, we used to do a lot of merchant service sales. What drove me absolutely berserks 
was every time I needed a solution, I had to quickly scramble to go find something. And I said, why isn't there a agnostic, friendly ISV that works with agents and bars and, and, and banks? And, and we didn't yeah. find one, to be honest with you. We're getting some really interesting ones here of just kind of uh, specific features. So I'll run through a couple real quick. Um, mm -hmm. What about like kind of like a hosted payments page? Like, you know, on their website, they want to have a link of some kind that you can click on to go make a payment. Or is it more like in that situation, you want to send the invoice or what, what are your thoughts on that? We have we have a few options. So so if by hosted payment page, they want to be able to sell some products, like let's just say a salon wants to put 10 products online and they want to be able to click uh, and, and make payment, you absolutely can do that, okay? If that's what they're asking. Uh, or if they even want the ability to email or text them a invoice, they could make payment that way on their phone or on their tablet or on their laptop from home, okay? Uh, and, and our and our software also allows them to make parcel payments. So, if, you know, we had an issue the other day where a, a merchant had a, a car he was repairing, and the invoice was of fairly large size. So, so the the consumer can only pay, I think, five hundred of the two thousand dollars. Our software allows you to do partial payment on invoices that are texted and emailed to you. Oh, so, awesome. if that's what they're asking. Yes, we do do that. Cool. Okay. Um, let's see here. I'm in the restaurant space. Most of my customers have POS systems, but they would like online ordering with a printer. So I guess the question is, can you set up a, like a restaurant with online ordering without taking over the other stuff? Absolutely. You do not have to use the entire ecosystem of Zusa. You do not. So if they just want to use online ordering with Zusa, God bless them. If they want to do online with mobile payments, if they want to do POS with mobile payments, we don't care. Whatever, whatever floats their boat, right? Yep. Um, and, and, cool. and for us, obviously we train our partners to try to get it all because if you're making payments on mobile, if you're making payments on POS and you're making payments online. And by the way, if you've got cash discount activated on all of them, it's, it's a trifecta, right? It's a, yeah. it, you know, uh, it's a triple crown as we call it. So, uh, for my horse fans out there, they'll understand what we're talking about, but yeah, if you could make revenue on all three might as well. But if you're in the situation where you can only get access to the online ordering, run with yeah. that and leave, you know, and then later revisit it two, three, four, five months later. I can definitely answer this question here. It just says, can you turn cash discounting off and on? Yes. Right. So, and that, and that is really important. I've actually found some ISOs have actually made that unnecessarily difficult. I mean, there are going to be, in my experience, one out of 20 ish of the merchants who do cash discounting that, you know, <clears throat> they, for whatever reason, they come back and say, this is not the right fit for us within, you know, a few weeks. So, um, if you do it through a technology provider like this, yeah, you just go in there and say, turn that it's, off. It's one That's click. It. It's one light switch yeah. for Zusa. And then it's it, not only does it disappear, it disappears off receipts, disappears off the screens, dis disappears off everything. Yep. Um, so uh, several of you have asked questions about kind of getting signed up, <clears throat> reviewing agreements, terms, all of that. Go to ccsalespro.com slash Zusa or just get Zusa.com, either one, and just go there, fill out the form. They'll reach out to you about signing up. Um, as far as health clubs, uh, Danny, can they send reminders to customers for upcoming appointments? So uh, with appointment scheduling, I think, we're, I think we're talking here about maybe training sessions, that kind of thing. Do we have <clears throat> reminders set up for appointment scheduling? Yeah, James, let me, let me give you a longer answer. So yes, not only do we have, we have all three phases. We have A, when you book an appointment online or in person, it sends you a text or email saying that you've booked. We have B, which, uh, say your appointment's in a couple days, uh, it'll, again, send you reminders, right? So say if you want to send out two or three reminders of your appointment. And then we also have the third option, which they can confirm or cancel an appointment. So if I send you a text, you say, you know what? Monday's not looking good. Daughter's not feeling well, or I'm a little under the weather. I could actually cancel right from my phone. And then that slot opens back up on the calendar, but not just on the POS calendar, but also online. So, so what happens is immediately, let's just say tomorrow, Samantha's fully booked, but Peter, you know, Peter and I both have the, we have the beautiful bald look going, right? You know, uh, we're trying to copy Vin Diesel minus the muscles, okay? Uh, but let's just say tomorrow, Peter had a haircut at one o'clock for Samantha, and now uh, she's fully booked. Well, that one o'clock slot reopens up automatically, and someone else can jump on that spot and claim it. So we have all three. Uh, and, and to kind of piggyback on what you were saying earlier about you guarantee that there'll be different ISVs and all the different niche specific softwares, we're already doing that. Zusa is actually already working with partners 
creating very niche down software packages for every single vertical. Uh, and you guys can take a look at getservicenut.com or bloompos.com or pausepos.com. Those are all Zusa branded products. So we're becoming very niche specific uh, and our partners are, are really winning battles they never used to win before. So to answer your question, yes and yes. Cool. Another softball question I can even answer here. Um, you know, when you're doing the cash discount, are you applying the percentage for online sales as well as point of sale uh, in person? Yes. Yeah. So if you turn cash discounting on, right, Danny, it's, it's on across the board. Um, yep. there, there, there's a little confusion about this in our industry. Maybe I can clear it up in 10 seconds. Um, that th there's a little confusion about, well, can you do cash discounting? You know, on uh, can you do a non-cash adjustment online? Is that compliant? And the answer is yes. Ironically, it's 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 actually more compliant, meaning Visa doesn't care one bit what you do with the online situation because there is no other option. Um, okay. And so you can add a fee for whatever you want. You can call it a service fee, a delivery fee, an online ordering fee, a non-cash adjustment, doesn't matter. So um, the, the short answer is yes, that's that's a no-brainer. I missed some of the webinar. Uh, what handheld devices do you use for pay at the table? Give us the real quick rundown again for pay at the table. All, all PAX devices, every pack, A920, A920 Pro, A77, every single PAX device you could think of pretty much. We work with all of them. Or uh, we have a lot of customers using even their smartphones like Android or iPhone uh, solutions. So yep. we, we're both mobile and PAX terminal ready. Um, I love that uh, Peter Phelps here, <clears throat> who I know, he is uh, he makes a comment here uh, trying to help us make a better event. So um, this is really good. He says, you missed the obvious. This also protects our merchants from the next knucklehead that wants to race to the bottom with cash discounting. Um, you know, all of you that are on here that are actively selling cash discounting, you know, isn't it insane how competitive cash discounting has become in the last six months? It's like unbelievable. Like I feel like mm -hmm. six months ago, I never talked to a rep that said, oh, I flipped somebody on cash discounting. It was really rare. Now it's like every day I walk into a merchant that already has cash discounting. It's becoming so popular that, yes, there's a lot of people out there that are saying, you know, how could you charge your merchants $399? i will do it for $35 or I'll give you this for free or whatever. And so, yeah, you know, this is a way not only to protect your cash discount portfolio from ISVs, but going this route also, of course, is, is obviously protecting you from other, you know, ISOs and agents that would be trying to sell that. Absolutely. And, 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 you know, there's, there was a saying in the old banking world said eight is great. Right. And that is, if you can get eight hooks into a merchant, you've got them for a long time. Well, that's really the Zusa philosophy. That's why we give them free gift cards, free loyalty, free calendar, free appointments, free, you know, the list goes on free, 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 free. Uh, we hook them. And then all of a sudden you're making that two, three, four or $500 a month for the next 20 years. We're making a small SAS fee. Everybody's happy. So uh, Philip, great feedback, but yeah, that's, that's kind of the theme behind it. Uh, this is a question, uh, maybe a little bit in the weeds here, um, but can we do cash discounting and traditional processing at the same time? Meaning, does it support multiple mid type scenarios where I could have like a, I guess that wouldn't even be multiple mids with what you're doing though. Like, you know, can we say I've got a, you know, I've got this side of my business. Maybe I have a gas station. I want to do cash discount on the fuel pumps, but not in the store or. Yes, you could do that with us, but what you're going to want to do is you know with uh, it's easy to do but it's going to be considered a multi-merchant right so right. we're going to call merchant a and set up all their stuff that way and add a cash discount merchant b right set up everything to do it there the only difference is is their reports will show up in two different reporting buckets and it'll be considered a multi-merchant layer so basically almost like two merchants right um right. but all right. stemming back to the same uh owner so yes we do do that actually we had a uh, merchant that wanted that and that's how we set them up got it okay cool um let's see here i think there was one other one there i think we got through most of them there um well this has been a lot of information and uh i love it danny i really appreciate you and uh peter both of you guys just taking the time to um jump in on and talk through this i really hope that our listeners and my audience you know I, I really wanted to give you a little bit of the emotion of fear at the beginning of this because I'm telling like I, I wish I could get across you know so sometimes Danny I don't know I like I really wish I could you know record my consulting sessions at, with ISVs and and like hey look you know here's this company that's got you know a million dollars in in venture capital and all they want to target is auto repair shops and all they're going to do is cash discounting and mm -hmm. you know it's like I feel like a lot of the the audience and my listeners are just they're not understand they're not grasping that they don't get it like they're coming for you. They're coming for your accounts. And so you've got to, you've got a partner, you've got to have somebody that has some functionality that's going to protect you from that. 
Um, Danny, any final words of wisdom from you before we close up shop today for those that are, again, that, you know, most of the listeners on here, I, I feel like are, they're, they're hardworking. They're out there. They care about their merchants. They're selling cash discounting because they think it's the right thing for the merchant. They want to build that solid residual for their family long-term. Any other final thoughts for us before we uh, leave today? Yeah, James, I, I honestly, uh, anyone I meet that comes into the industry, first thing I tell them to do is come talk to you. Like literally everyone I run into because you, you understand what's happening out there. Like we're at all the tech shows. We're not just at the payment shows, which by the way, any of you guys are at WSAA next week, uh, visit booth 71, we'll be there. But uh, we're at all the shows. We see what the VARs are doing. They are coming after this industry with vengeance. And that's what Zuzo was set up for. We're, we're, we're you know, we kind of joke that we're the, uh, we, we try to help guard your residuals, right? So you have to, if you're in this space and you've been in it forever, that's awesome. But it also can be a disadvantage to you because you're used to doing business a certain way where some of the individuals that come about it in a different approach, they're having a lot of success because you said it best, they're coming after the residuals. They are coming after you. They've got money. They've got VCs, you know, and, and they're there to come after your revenue. Uh, we also are VC backed, right? We, we've got millions of dollars in development. All we're doing is adding new features, tools, uh, functionality to help our agents, ISOs, banks protect what we feel like is theirs, right? And service their merchants. So if a merchant leaves you, let it be for something else, but don't let it be for software, right? Don't let it be for technology. Don't let it be for something that you could have controlled. And 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 that's that's really again not, not to beat a dead horse, but that's why Zuza was created was we got tired of seeing agents and ISOs lose battles to VARs. And we said, look, it's about time somebody stood up for people in our space. Uh, I love the payments industry. It's, it's, I've been in it for almost 20 years. It's been very, uh, I've been very blessed to be a part of it, James. And, and mm -hmm. again, I'm very uh, thankful and very blessed. And I wanna try to help others avoid some of the mistakes I made early on in life. And uh, we appreciate guys like you and your show because we feel like you, you know, put the spotlight on areas that a lot of people might be neglecting. I, I definitely think VARs and ISVs hate you, James. <laughs> That's well, a, well, it's it's funny. They hate well, me and then they hire me to tell them well, how to do it. Yeah. What I mean by hate you is, is you're shedding light on areas that like yeah, they don't want you to, you know, they don't want don't people know. in our space to know, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's happening, what they're doing. But yeah, we're seeing it. I mean, I'm telling you, we're seeing uh, competition get a lot more fierce, especially on the cash discounting side. It is. There's so much money to be had there. So, um, well, hey, Danny, Peter, thank you guys so much. I appreciate Absolutely. you taking the time. Those in our audience, thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. If I didn't answer your question, um, I'll go through and send some more over to Danny and his team and they can reach back out. Head to ccsalespro.com slash Zuza, Z-U-Z-A, if you haven't done so already. Um, reach out to their team, fill out that form. They'll be in contact with you. Um, and then also, if you want to go to ccsalespro.com slash Zuza ebook, um, that's an ebook that Danny and I wrote together that gives a little bit more uh, detail as well. So again, Danny and Peter, thanks so much for your time, guys. I appreciate it. You're awesome, James. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, James. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, everyone.